Welcome to a new week for Spring Fling here at Deer Hallmark. Last week we were given Chasing Waterfalls. This week we have Don't Go Breaking My Heart starring Ryan Pavey, RP, and Italia Ricci. So I'm going to try to give you as little premise as possible so I can just go straight into this review. Okay, so Italia Ricci's character Miranda has a breakup boot camp and she through six weeks does physical kind of activities to help people repair after having their heart broken so they go through like trust connection release and they dance they um hit the punching bag they do team oriented tasks they did a trust fall and then they do closure where they write letters and burn them or send them to the person um but here's the thing <laughs> rp what happened fam i i wanted you to bring it rp what go on like i i was really expecting more from mr pavey this movie italia carried this entire movie she outshined everyone and also can i say helen who's one of the participants in the breakup boot camp um She's one of my favorite characters too. I feel like she wasn't even acting. She was just res like genuinely responding to everything that was going on. A little bit more premise. So Ryan Pavey's character is a journalist um, who originally goes to this boot camp um, to, with his sister as kind of like emotional and moral support uh, for her breakup. And then of course, throughout the course of the boot camp, he falls for Miranda and you know, it's kismet, whatever. Um, I, I mean, it's a half step better than Chasing Waterfalls. I gave Chasing Waterfalls, like, what, two? I'm going to give this one 2.5. Will I watch it again? Yes, I would watch it again. And I think it was a half step better because Italia really brought it. Like, her acting was on point. Can we talk about her coat in this entire movie? loved it loved her coat um and we saw the, the guy who played bink he's in a, a, some other movies too both hallmark and up but this movie i ain't got much to say it was basic it was just white milk like it was it wasn't anything special um, I, again, Italia Ritchie brought it with the acting, but I be, I believe because it was so one-sided, like if Pavey brought it, this movie would have been really good. I probably would have given it three and a half crowns because I just think the nature of the movie was just kind of like, yeah, cause the, some of the lines where they were talking about being a rebound and like the ending scene where she was you know coming to him after she found out that he wrote a proper article instead of um instead of like a an expose she came to him and was like well you know i'm looking for someone to be my rebound and i know it was an inside joke but i'm like that's so weird it's just <laughs> like it was just so weird and rp kind of just gave me straight face throughout the whole movie and i really didn't see a range of emotions for him he was kind of monotone so I, I, this y'all family, what is going on? What is going on? I really don't have much to say. I, I mean, should I watch One Perfect Week? What is it called? One Perfect Wedding? I saw One Winter Weekend, but I do not remember it. Did not see One Winter Proposal. Um, but I, I don't. Eh, I don't think I'm going to watch it. So I probably won't see y'all until As Luck Would Have It. I think that's the next one. Is As Luck Would Have It. But either event, this one's going to be mad short, family. It's going to be mad short because this it didn't do it for me. I mean, I understand Ryan Pavey is like one of the most handsome men on Hallmark. And so people are automatically attracted to this movie because of Ryan Pavey. But can we get past the facade and see that he really didn't bring it this movie? <laughs> like sometimes we gotta look past how handsome somebody is and really be honest and be like, for real, bro, for real. 
you know so i i'm i'm ready and willing to look past all of that and just be like but what did you do <laughs> what did you do what did you do i promise you the best role that ryan pavey ever played was a timeless christmas the first time i ever saw him in a movie was christmas at the plaza um and I thought that was cool, but he excelled in A Timeless Christmas. I don't know if he just needs to play non-normal people, like people from either a different time or some type of fantastical character, but him just playing regular people doesn't, it, it's like the same thing, just with different names and different jobs. I don't know. But Italia, I can't say this enough. She's all of the three, the two and a half crowns. Oh no, the half crown is for her coat. <laughs> That's what I'll do. The half crown is for her coat. But y'all, this spring fling, these are like, mm -mm. I don't help y'all. And I wanted to like this movie. I, I did laugh. I did chuckle when um, Ryan Pavey's character's name is Ben and Italia was trying to like encourage him to punch the bag and so then he finally punched it so hard it hit another person and sent that person into their bag and he hurt his nose and i thought that, that was funny but um and then that corner office scene i'm like what newspaper editor got an office that looked like the cfo what and the way he turned around I just got major soap opera vibes from him. I think I was, I was like, all right, sir, brother Tyler brought it. So I need you to bring it. And he was like, nah, I'm okay. <laughs> all right, y'all, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm so sorry. This one is just, it's a minor bust. It's a minor bust for me. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Let's have a dialogue. Cause some of y'all might disagree and be like, Dara, you are tripping. Let me know, members of the Hallmark Academy, let me know your thoughts. Are we voting this one in? I will say, like I said, this one was way better than Chasing Waterfalls by a stretch. So much better than Chasing Waterfalls, how and so ever. It's still, there's still a lot of work that needs to be done. So yeah. Let me know what you guys thought. Thank you for watching this video. If you want some more Hallmarkish content, be sure to follow Dear Hallmark on Instagram. I don't even know if I introduced myself. My name is Dara. I just got right into the review. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video.